girls, this is Mrs. Ott and I'm excited because today we are going to be drawing and coloring some really cool cakes. Actually, one cake. And it is inspired by an American artist. His name is Wayne Thiebaud. And he is really famous for his cakes, his cupcakes, his donuts, lollipops. So he made lots of you know using um, this theme and I'm going to show you just a few uh, pictures of his work so that we get inspired to draw our own cake but remember that when you make your cake you're gonna make it the colors that you want you're gonna think about what flavor you would like it to be what what topping it goes on top so what colors would reflect the topping that you would choose in your imagination uh, what would be the flavor inside, what's the feeling, and also colors. Colors are really, really important in art, and you want to think about contrast and how they go together. So we're going to also look at colors in Wayne Thiebaud's art. So here's an example of Wayne Thiebaud's cakes, and it's important to look at his, his painting so we can appreciate the way he, there's repetition, um, the way he arranged all these cakes, also the fact that there are highlights and shadows. So for instance, the side of the cakes on the left is always lighter, brighter than on the back, which is on the right side of the cakes. So in here, we always have a repetition of a shadow on the same exact side and a highlight on the left side of the cakes. You can also appreciate patterns. So for instance, this one is much more decorated than maybe this one, who's, you know, just a simple design. The other fact is that this one is shorter and that one is much taller. So those are things that you want to think about when you design your own cake. Will it have perhaps strawberries on the top or a design will it have filling inside so you would make stripes with maybe chocolate filling and perhaps it's a vanilla cake so all those different things to consider and think about and get excited when you make your own cake now this one I like to share because I absolutely love the colors it's called Wayne Thiebaud's confections and I love the way he you know, chose a lime green and an orange and this really pale yellow. So that's a tint. We're going to learn how to make tints, which is a lighter color of, of a color. So making colors lighter or making tints out of color. So adding white. Now there's a lot of texture in his paintings and he's using paints. We will be using oil pastels because I'm assuming, I'm hoping that's what you have at home. And we're gonna try to recreate texture. So in here I see lots of texture with the brush strokes and we will be creating texture blending oil pastels. Color, really important. So you need to think about your color combinations and how they work together. And uh, this is an example of the cake we're going to make. So let's get started. All right, boys and girls, I'm ready to draw my cake. So the first thing is to draw an oval, even though we will be drawing a cake that is, you know, has a circle form. When you look at it from the sides, it, it becomes an oval. So you're going to draw an oval as big as you want your cake to be. So if I draw a small oval, it will be a smaller cake. If I make my oval a little bit bigger, it will be a bigger cake. So I'm gonna try to make one that's kind of um, in between big, big, big and small, something like that. And if you want it to be bigger, then you go bigger. So again, remember, this is an oval, not a circle. And then you're going to draw the lines on the sides will reflect how tall your cake is. So I'm going to draw two lines here. 
and then you're going to mirror this line exactly the same curved line right here at the bottom so I'm going to go like this and all the way here now we're going to add a line actually these are two lines here to mimic that you actually cut out a piece of your cake so I can put like a little dot here and then I'm going to draw a line that goes to this dot and then another line here so it's kind of a V shape right here and then from here a vertical line so I just mirror exactly a parallel line that goes down and then the same thing comes down here. So now I see that these two are not exactly parallel. So this one is a little bit more in. So maybe I could do the same thing. A little bit more in. So that it is parallel. So you can erase whenever you need. Now the next line is really important. I'm going to mirror this line here so this is so imagine that you have a line that comes down in the middle so I'm going to go straight so this is a, my straight line I'm going to go straight down here and kind of measure okay how tall is this one it's going to be about the same I think a little bit more there we go and then I'm going to join these two lines but they have to be the same kind of parallel to this one I go parallel here and then the same here so if you drew a line that went here that wouldn't look good but draw it like this and see that it's parallel now we're going to erase this line right here and we're gonna see and then this line right here too Now you have your cake, it's your basic cake form. Um, so if you wanted to add filling inside, like say you wanted to add nice filling inside your cake, you're gonna draw parallel lines. So let's say that this is a line that has filling. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then I'm going to go here again. Maybe there's another line. And same right here. I think that this one is not exactly well. Now, I'm thinking that I want it to be just a little, I'm just not sure why, but it looks a little bit lopsided, my oval. So I'm just going to tweak it just a little bit. Maybe yours is just perfect, so then just leave it like that. Just feeling that it's a little bit squished. Let's see what this looks like now. I have a little bit more room. Maybe even a little bit more. So you can tweak. because this you know the slice became so big maybe I, sh I should have made it a little bit smaller but that's okay and let's see how this looks yeah so that's pretty good now I'm going to add a plate so I'm going to make a line that goes around my cake again it's going to be an oval so you're going to start on one side and just go around I 
I have just enough room for my plate. And then I'm going to add a horizon line, which is going to be to separate basically my table from the background. So here is my basic cake shape. Now, if you wanted to add things on the top, we can add them. Uh, you can make a sketch, like for instance, if I wanted to add some, you know, frosting on top, uh, and then maybe some strawberries. Maybe I can do that, but I can do that later, or you can just spot them. Now, this is basic. Then you're going to decide on what color you want your cake to be. So I'm always going to have a white piece of paper and I'm going to get my oil pastels. Today we are going to be using some really cool oil pastels and here are my oil pastels. So decide which color your cake will be. So we're going to color the outside first. So I'm going to do, I think, a pink for the outside. Again, you're going to decide which color you want. Now keep your outlines not colored. So I'm going to go around here, just like that, in each section of cake. It's really important that you don't just go like this. You know, use craftsmanship. So each section, you know, go around first like that, and just work each section. It's also important to remember the roundness. So this cake, I'm gonna work this way because it's round this way, and I want to fill. You know the same shape it's a round shape so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then inside you're going to decide what color is your filling So once I finished my cake, uh, we will add all kinds of shadows and highlights at the end. But now we need to figure out what color we want to do the top background right here, the table and the plate. So try to choose, you know, colors that contrast so they're not exactly the same. So I might use a blue for my background and um, maybe a yellow for my plate or for my table. So I have to figure out what would look best. Now, if you want to make a color lighter, always use white, you know, pastels, oil pastels blend really, really well. So in here, the yellow was too like bright, bright yellow. So I just went over to make it just more like a vanilla, um, you know, like a vanilla flavor in here so if in here i want to have a light blue so i'm going to take my blue always clean them you ha should have a piece of paper next to you and first i do kind of a line that goes around i call it the wax wall and then i'm going to fill in around the cake so it's even if you were to do several colors because you can blend your colors. Start with one color and then little by little you can blend other colors. So I'm just gonna, you know, just define the area that needs to be colored first and then I'm gonna color it in. 
Now that we have our main, you know, background table, the plate and the cake colored, we need to make uh, shadows, highlights and adjustments. So I'm looking at my colors here, the plate and the table are about, you know, they're too similar. So I'm going to add a little bit more green. This is a blend with white, yellow, green and blue. So the great thing about these oil pastels is that you could really blend colors and add te texture. So the Wayne Thiebaud cakes, when you look at his cakes, they have a lot of texture. So here's an example. So in here we'd see all the brush strokes. We can see all the highlights. This is a shadow in here. We have a big shadow here. And also small additions. So for instance here, we can add different colors in here. There's a big shadow on the side. So in here, we could tell that the light is coming this way. And so that's why this is way brighter. And we have a shadow here and a shadow here. So the same thing, the shadow will always be on the same side. So if you have a shadow here, there will not be shadows on this side. Same thing with just this one little, um, whatever it is, a raspberry or, or um, blueberry at the top, the shadow will be on the left side. So always be really consistent with your shadows. So now is the time to make your cake really, really stand out. So first thing I'm gonna do is work on my plate a little bit more. So I wanna make it stand out a little bit more so it's not too close in value. Value is the lightness or the darkness of a color. So right now it's a little bit too light and too similar to um, my table. So I'm going to work on making my plate a little bit more interesting so it stands out a little bit more. So I added a little bit of green to my plate and blend it with a little bit of blue, these two colors. And then I started adding a little bit of this line around to define the plate a little bit more. And now I'm going to add some shadows also on the cake and around the cake. So for instance, if I have a shadow, that's going to be, I started here, this shadow. But first I want to start I want to finish kind of my cake. So in here, there should be a darker color. So I'm going to start, you know, a little bit by little bit. So don't go really drastic on your shadows. So in here, I'm going to see if this color gives me the center line to define this line in here a little bit more. And I can just add it here. Maybe this is not enough. So find a color that's a little bit darker. And we're gonna just kind of go around. Maybe this is a caramel color. So think about what it could be in real life. I'm gonna add just a little bit of detail here. So, and maybe a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go to maybe a little bit of a darker brown and see how that goes. Just to give me a little bit of a lift without being really, really drastic. So you wanna work little by little kind of in layers because you can always add more, but you can't take it away. So if you go straight with something really dark like black, 
So I think that's pretty good for now. Again, this is a process. So you go little by little. I'm going to add, start adding the same darker color here around to define the bottom of the cake. And I feel I might want to add just this line here to make it more apparent. And same thing right here. Now I'm going to add a few a few highlights. So I'm going to take some whites. And in here, if the sun is coming this way, I'm going to have a little bit of light on this side. And some light on here as well as probably on my plate should be a little bit of a highlight so this is the part that's going to be light now all these little blueberries also should have a touch of white and in here should be way 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 wider because this is where the light kind of hits. So I'm going to make it way, way lighter. And we're going to have to have a shadow. So I'm going to use my light blue kind of to see how it would look. So imagine that this is the shadow and I've already started here. So in here, I'm going to extend this to mimic the shadow. So I'm going to kind of blend over and just go lightly. And since the bottom part is yellow, when I put this blue on top, it will become a little bit green. I actually really like this color. And then the same thing here, I'm going to blend a little bit. So this is an optical illusion that you will be able to appreciate when you look at your painting from far away rather than close by. Right now you might be saying, oh my gosh, this is going to look terrible. But when you look at it from far away, you will see the difference. And then if I look, I, I'm going to look up, I think this should be a little bit more straight. So I'm going to go this way. So this is kind of a little bit of a shadow right here and I'm going to go back to this one which I used for this part here so it's a little bit darker and I'm going to add this part this shadow extends beyond kind of like that even beyond the plate so it goes here. So I'm just going to color this in. And then our cake on this side is going to be... Now the shadow here, let's finish our shadow before we move to the cake. It has to be a crisp, kind of a crisp line. So I'm going to color it really well. And so this part here is going to be a darker color than this color. So maybe I'm going to look for a purple, which will be a little bit darker than pink. And again, I'm going to start little by little, see if I like it. I think it's okay, it's not bad. Because I love pink, so I don't want my pink to completely disappear. But I think it looks good. So color plays so much in an artwork that you really have to play with it, test it, make lots of mistakes and learn from what looks good and what doesn't look good. Now I need to add also the shadow on my little blueberries. So maybe I can use this purple. Let's see how this looks. 
So again, this is going to be like this. And maybe if we need them to be darker, then we can go and use the same blue that we used. Let's try it. So this is a, a darker, much, much darker shadow. I think that looks good, yeah. I like the darker one. So I'm just going to add my shadow right here. And I might even add a little bit at the bottom right here. So I want a really dark, dark shadow here. Yeah. And maybe here, I already have it. Let's make it a little bit darker. It's taking shape. It is taking shape, as we say. Now in here, I can add maybe a little bit of this green highlight, maybe on the kick itself. No? So there's lots of little, small little colors blending into this. Now my plate also will have a shadow. So let's see, maybe I can use the same color right here a little bit more pronounced on this side than on the other side you can adjust you know make a little bit more I think I might add some white around here so it's just a little bit more white, maybe a little bit here. So keep on adjusting your highlights and your shadows and you always want to step away. So in here on this side I think it should be a little bit lighter than on this side. I'm going to try to adjust my yellow, blend, blend, blend. And add a little bit more highlight right here on my plate. A little bit more on my cake. A little bit more here. And I want to make these a little bit more dramatic. 